Welcome back to yet another video and today I'm going to show you the best rig for speckle trout. Now before we begin I do want to go ahead and mention there are other ways in order to rig for specks however this is the easiest and most versatile way to rig for them and it's produced a lot of fish in my experience. Now the first part of this rig is a treble hook. This is a size 8 treble hook however I usually prefer a size 10 due to the smallest shrimp we get in our area. And the reason I like treble hooks is that they're very small and it's very difficult for speckled trout to see. Now, the problem with trebles is that they do tend to get caught in the throat a lot easier, go down into the guts. So only use trebles if you do plan on keeping the fish to eat. If not, I would recommend the Eagle Claw live bait hooks. They do fairly well and the thinner hook you can get, the better since speckled trout can see very, very well. The next thing you'll need is a BB weight. Now the BB weight on the right is actually a little larger than what I like to use and it's one of the biggest mistakes I see people do with this particular setup. This really doesn't make the shrimp look very natural. It does not take hardly any weight to keep the shrimp lower in the water column. So the smaller the BB weight the better. This is a very tiny one. I don't know the exact weight but it is incredibly light. However, it's just enough to where you cast, the shrimp will go slowly down to the water column, but it looks a heck of a lot more natural than this larger one. Plus, as I mentioned before, speckled trout can see very well. It's going to be much more difficult to see the smaller weight. Now, the last thing you'll need is a bobber. The one on the right is weighted, which will give you a little bit more distance, as well as there are beads inside, which can help produce a strike in windier weather. However, I find that the smaller bobber you can use, the smaller equipment you can use, the better. So save yourself a little money, get something about this size, just to give you my finger for a comparison. And you can actually find them smaller for this. Uh, this is plenty of cork to hold your weight up or your shrimp up, so no worries there. And they're very inexpensive, easy to find, but they work fantastically. You don't need the rattling and all that stuff, especially while using live bait. Now usually I would tie this rig to 8 to 12 pound mono, however for this example I'm using some high vis green line just to help y'all see a little bit better. So to start off what we're going to want to do is simply take our treble hook, put it on the line and tie a uni knot. Now that we've tied our hook on, we're going to give ourselves about 6 to 8 inches of line between the hook and the BB weight. And what this will do is it'll put less mass in one specific area. That way it's not nearly as visible to specs, as well as it still lets the shrimp move around freely and look a lot more natural. So all you got to do if you used the BB weight before is take it, put it on your line, and then simply pinch it together. And I would suggest doing this with pliers, but I'm just going to use my hands for now. But usually I'll give about six or seven inches away from the hook and then here you go. Now the last thing we'll need to do is add a bobber. So when you're placing a bobber you do need to kind of figure out where the fish are biting at. Usually I put it at about two feet, that's a good area. The specks, if they're feeding on the surface, they'll definitely still go down and eat the shrimp two to three feet under. So all you gotta do is take your pen out, put on your cork, slide it in, hold the fishing line to the back, reapply, and you're set. And this styrofoam is definitely soft enough to where you can move the cork around if you want to change your depth without having to redo anything, as you can see there. And there you have it. That is a full setup for speckled trout. Now, if they're still not biting and they're really finicky one night, and you feel like you're just not catching anything really off the bottom or using a bobber off the top, the best thing to do is simply remove the bobber as well as the weight and all you're going to have left is this hook on here. This is going to be free lining, it's going to look incredibly natural and if a fish is not going to eat off of this, simply the tide's not moving enough or the fish just aren't hungry. The line will be using, like I said, 8 to 12 pound mono, something in that range. It's going to follow the shrimp nicely. It's not going to affect its swimming abilities and it'll allow the shrimp to go anywhere in the water column it wants to. Now, you won't have any control of where that shrimp goes for the most part, 
However, with how natural it looks swimming, it is going to trigger a phenomenal bite. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. That will definitely help me out. And if you like speckle trout content, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more in the future. As well as leave a comment if you have any other ideas on how to rig for specs. As well as what do you think is the best part of this rig. And thanks for watching.